Hello everybody, welcome back to Twilight... Uh, got Twilight Princess on the brain. Can you tell I recorded this, I'm recording this one directly after the last one? If you didn't watch that one, you should go watch it. It's good, I think. I think you might enjoy it. Anyway, we are here in this Tabantha zone. And I was doing some reconnaissance. There were a couple interesting things along the ridge here I wanted to see. But I was looking at this place and realized that that is the Rito Village. This this zone is the last zone. I thought it, I thought that last divine beast was going to be up in this area up here. Turns out that is not the case. So I'm going to explore around here, see if there's anything interesting here. Uh, probably won't be, but we'll see anyway. Uh, then we'll then. Well, okay, I guess it's onto the last Divine Beast. Uh, I guess I'll maybe, I don't know, whatever. So yeah, we'll go around here, go to Lake Totori, and go from there. Uh, the first area I scouted out here, with uh, looking at the map in detail, it looked like this was a risen, like a cliff on the rise, but they're actually craters. This one big one is one I marked, but then there was also one that looked like it had a bunch of rock rings that might be a Korok seed, so... We'll see what that ends up being. Um. Oh, you know what? That's a stone talus. Get out of here, wolf. That's got to be a stone talus, right? Save, save, yes. All right, stone talus. Yep, that's a stone talus. Okay, uh... I really don't want to fight one of those now. I'm going to mark this as a spot. I'm going to go to this tree clearing. I thought I saw something that was an odd color. Uh, but I thought it might be leaves. And it looks like it was. Actually, it might be a Korok seed too. I'll go check it out real quick. This music is something else. Okay. It's nice music. I like it. It's cool. Alright. Uh, anything in here? Yes. I was going to say, it looks like one of these ones that I need to... Uh, use mag... Whoa, excuse me. Use Magnesis on to... Uh, drop in the hole. Really? What? What? Oh, it's the chain that was doing that. Okay. There we go. Korok seed. Woo! You found me. Yep. Thanks for the seed. Man, I don't know what how many it takes to get new item uh, slots, but it's getting up to be a lot. All right. So we did this crater. Yeah. See, that, that looks kind of suspicious there. So we're going to go check out that one. Then we're going to check out these bones over here. It could be the last Leviathan photo I need. Probably not, but that's that's the that's where we're going right now. I can't imagine there wouldn't be something worth getting at that those skeletal areas. Actually, you know what? I know where another skele skeleton is. Great skeleton. Yeah, you can see that there's a skull there, so that's not going to be what I'd hoped. That's unfortunate. I really wish I had a damn horse, and it would be so nice if the whistle would, like, spawn them out of range. Like, uh, I don't know if anyone's ever played Witcher 3, but they did that perfectly. You whistle for Roach, which is the hor uh, Witcher's, the Geralt's horse there, and, uh, you know, he just spawns that somewhere where you don't usually notice, and he comes running to you. Which would be really nice for this game, because it's just... Otherwise, it's bo you have to go to a stable to pick them up, and it's re it's just it's just dumb. Oh, you know what? I got bet I got to place it in the middle. There was one in the very middle on the map, so yep, there it is. Sweet. Thanks for my seventy fifth Koroxy. Oh, 79th. At least that I have on on my person. Uh, okay, you know, I'm probably going to encounter, uh, a, uh, Lionel, at least one around this ridge. I mean, there's like three of them on the, uh, edge here of the map. Those are, all, all three of those are Lionels. There's a lot of Lionels. 
You know, I'm running through Dragon Bone Mire. Dragon Bones? Interesting. So I was running to here and I felt like this was oddly familiar and it actually is because uh, one day I uh, I I was down here I had a Pona down there. oh I had just a horse down there uh, I guess it was from an enemy there was probably some rocks over here some I was bombing but I rode rode it through this trench all the way down and around up here just kind of absent-mindedly. I wasn't really thinking about what I was doing, and the next thing I know, I'm in this zone, and it's like, oh, crap. Um, yeah, I shouldn't really be here, should I? So that's what that is. That's why I feel like I've been here before. Uh, anything? Just tar pits? Is that, that's it? No, like, sword and a stone, like underneath the one in the Eldridge Ridge, or... Okay, well, that's disappointing. Um, well, okay. Well, I'm kind of striking out on these places. They're not as interesting as I thought they might be. No shrines, no anything. Um, those are enemies to fight. They're probably going to be a pain in the butt to fight. I don't know what's over there. don't remember what's over there, but... Uh... Actually, there might be something up there on the in those rock rock uh, cliffs. So maybe we'll take a look over there. Maybe we'll fight things here. Oh, those are all lizard fucks. I'm not gonna worry about that then. Uh, if I can, well, yeah, just go up here, I guess. See where this trail leads me. If it's anywhere good. Oh, somewhere cold. I don't know if that's good or not, but. Oh wow, it's super cold then. Uh, there's gotta, there's gonna be something at the top of the, oh! That probably leads to that marker somewhere at some point, so I'm going to, whoa! That's a big ass moose! A big ass fucking moose! And I killed it! Wow! Wow, those are big meats. That's like, uh, Flintstone's sized meats um god you know i really don't want to go over there because it's going to be a waste of time but I, my curiosity is getting the better of me i've got to go see what's over here oh great and it's raining even though the my weather thing says it's not supposed to be raining fantastic well at least it didn't hinder my ability to walk up here hmm anything at all up here Anything at all. Anything at all. Whoop, there's something glowing over there. That's gotta be something. What the hell? Like, you can't get super precise on this thing. It's... That's the other problem with this uh, motion pad. It's like, it's not sensitive enough. I'm moving it ever so slightly, but I just cannot. Like, it refuses. It's like there's a snap on it, and it just... Uh, change stamp to shrine, question mark? I don't know. It's, a sh it's something I should be able to see, but... Ooh, a chest. And it glows, so it's a real one. Wow, uh, okay. <laughs> Just hit myself in the head with that thing. A frost blade. Great, I don't need that. I need a frost spear. I don't know where to get a frost spear. I tried looking it up, but it was like in a weird spot that wasn't really close or... Okay, well, doesn't look like there's really anything of note up here. That's probably some interesting ore, but... Well, this was a bust. Um, I think this was a Korok seed. Uh, saw a rock up here for a Korok seed. Yes! Alright, so next I'm, I'm gonna go to the top of that hill on the top right there. Since that's where I have another marker, and I'll see you over there, because... It's just gonna be a boring walk over there, and you don't really want to see me mining ore. Wow, that did a big radius of damage. Alright, so I'll see you on top of that hill. Alright. 
So we're at the top of this hill. There's a thing inside the hill that I want, well, I want to drop into. Don't, don't be, have a horn. Okay, thank you. I'd like to sneak attack these guys. Um. How? How did they notice me? What is that shit? Well, so much for being sneaky. I have no fucking idea how they noticed me there. Whoa, what happened? What the fuck just happened? What the hell? How'd I take so much damage? Holy... Hey, he has a frost spear. He has a motherfucking frost spear. Uh... Boom! That's how I took... Well, at least that's how I got frozen. Holy shit. Oh, no, 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 Uh... What? Get the fuck out. You couldn't be the one with the frost spear. Oh my god, that was fucking stupid. I don't know what, how I took so much damn damage there. And I don't know... Ah, god, I fucking hate that. You fall down and you roll forever. It's like, dude, put your arm out and stop. Don't don't pull your arms in and start rolling down the fucking hill like you're a kid on the, in the fall. Fucking put your arm out to stop your rolling. Why do you roll for 10 seconds before you stand the hell up? God damn it, that's so annoying. And then I couldn't pull out my thing because he decides he wants to just ragdoll down the hill. It's like, come on, really? Plus, I didn't know where these freaking how they spawned and noticed me in the freaking first place. You freaking, fucking coblin shits. Oh my god, this is fucking dumb. At least one of them's dead. Maybe two of them's dead. Maybe two of them's dead. One's almost dead any at any rate. Uh, I need food. Um, yeah, fuck it, we'll go with my big meal. I guess I only got big meals, so. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, great. Uh, I wish I had a two-hander so I could do a bit the big whirly, uh, whirly dealy. That would be nice. But unfortunately... Ah, god damn it. This frost spear guy is really pissing me the hell off. Boom! Pinged in the face. Nope, nope, nope. You're not swinging that thing one damn, one more damn time. There we go. That'll work. Shock them all. Kill them all. I forget. It. I forgot about that. All right. Ding fucking ding. Holy hell, that was... That was dumb. But I got my frost spear, so... We can finish the weapon connoisseur. I think that's the last weapon I need to give the kid. Oh my god. That was... That was just stupid. That was just fucking stupid. Alright, what... What did I get thrown off a cliff for? Frozen, like, four times. And there's a shrine nearby. Sweet. Let's take a look at what that is. Ice arrows. Ten ice arrows for that shit? Awesome. I better change away from my frost spear before I use it and break it. That would not be good. Was it that shrine I was talking about? Because I think that's the shrine I have marked already. Yeah, it is. Okay. Well. That was... Not cool. Alright, so there's a place that looks like I can fall into. So I'm gonna do that. We'll see what's in here. Ah, Korok. What is that? Spicy pepper? I'm pretty sure I have spicy peppers. Probably have a butt ton of them. Yeah, 70 of them. Because outside of the first, like, you know, the Great Plateau and using it to get the doublet, no other reason to use them at this point. Like... <laughs> Like, there's so many other ways to keep your temperature regulated. Thank you for the Korok Seed. Number 81. What happened to 80? 
I remember getting, uh... Alright, now that I offered that as an offering, I'm gonna take them all. Sorry, little Korok dude. Alright, so that's... That's all that was. I was expecting, like, a big underneath thing here. Alright, to, um... Dronox Pass. Uh, see what's over there, and then we'll head to the village and... Maybe do the shrine there, finish the, the episode off with that. We'll see. I've already been recording 25 minutes. Jeez. Haven't done a whole lot, really. Explored two places that didn't really have anything. A third place that was barely anything, even though it gave me the weapon for the weapon connoisseur. So, you know, whatever. At least it's been not nothing. I don't know how much of that I'll keep. We'll see. Us usually I keep most of it. Actually, oh, that, my friends, is a shrine. And that's exactly where we're going to be going. So that's cool. Oh, and I see the path there. And there's a rhino. I don't know if I kept that, me seeing that other one there before, but there's a rhino. Big old woolly rhino. What was the name of the shrine? I don't remember. I didn't notice it. I was too busy fawning over the rhino. Let's go and see what it has for us. Right. Path of Hidden Winds. Shawarbo. Okay. Well, this wind shirt certainly isn't hidden all that well. Whoops. I almost missed that. That would have been embarrassing. Well, there goes all that stuff. What's in here? It's gonna be a frost spear, right? Purple rupee. That's nice. Uh, oh my god. Boy, I hope you're not afraid of heights. Alright, grab onto the ladder, please. Thank you. I feel like I skipped something there. Yeah, pretty much. Probably nothing, really. Whee! Oh. Uh... And what's that? Oh, is it just a pillar to supposedly help hold it up? If I move that direction, it's going to not... Yeah. How do I make that, then? Oh, that's the entrance. That's how you... Okay. That's what that tower... That pillar is for. Okay. Uh... Yeah, how... I mean, it did say there was a hidden wind, so... What? Yeah, let's face the right way at the very least. Whoops. Okay, I'm lost. There's gotta be a hidden wind, right? I mean, that's the name of this thing. This shrine. Path of Hidden Winds. So... Maybe if I just go this way? Nope. Hidden winds, really? Why would they hide winds? That's so dumb. Okay, I could fly to that chest over there. Well, maybe. If I could just get up there, but... This doesn't go high enough. see anything up here at all. Um, am I missing something? I mean, it says hidden winds, but, but I, like, why would they hide winds? It's so dumb. Oh. Oh. Interesting. I don't know why it de-glided me there, but Alright, first we're gonna go to this treasure chest because, well, it's a treasure chest. You gotta open every chest you find. That's what a completionist does. Not that I'm, like, a completionist or the completionist. Like, I like to complete things when I can as long as it's not too hard. Uh, royal bow. Nice. I can use a bow. Okay, well... 
so it wasn't hidden as in like it's j there's an updraft that's just you don't see it's just it's hidden around the corner here okay now we can get out of this shrine hey dude I forgot what your name is already but give me your orb that's all I'm here for is your orb Yes, resourcefulness, hero, whatever, guide us, wa uh, goddess will guide you, whatever, yeah, whoa. Three, one more and I can get a heart piece. Container, whatever. Okay, so we're outside, again, we gotta go into here. Oh, there's a uh, marker I can get rid of, delete stamp. Um, How many stamps do I have active right now? I have, wow, I have 44 of them active, holy cow. All right, well. Huh. Interesting. Some kind of flight range, huh? Interesting. Let's go see what this is about. Wouldn't want to fall down there, it doesn't look like. Climbing up, climbing up, climbing, climbing, climbing up. Ooh. Arrows? Just arrows just sitting here. Shallow bow. Favored among Rito warriors, the bowstring has been specifically engineered for aer aerial combat, which allows it to be drawn faster than a normal bow. That's cool. Uh, I'm gonna need to get one, get rid of one of those eventually. Well, there's no one here, so I guess we'll be here later. I guess I don't know. Probably. Um. All right. Well, delete that pin. Um. All right, well, I'm going to, I guess, walk through the forest over here, get over here, and go into the place the uh, the right way. So I'll see you all over there. Unless, of course, something interesting pops up. Probably won't. Oh, there's a hut. Well, I was wrong almost immediately. There is a hut. Don't know what's in the hut. Saving, huh? Mush chilled mushrooms. Chill shrooms, whatever. There's another, uh... I want to say caribou. It's a freaking... What? Great, what the hell is the name of that thing? Moose. There you go, moose. A moosey fate. Ayo! Excuse me, but may you be so bold, you look quite troubled, do I? Perhaps a glimpse into what your future holds would bring comfort to your spirit. Uh, sure? If it's free. Hell, even if it's paid. Black. So much black. A deep, dark abyss drawing you in. <laughs> it's the void you're about to inhabit. Oh. Okay. Really? I'm just kind of sitting there, huh? Get, ah, damn it. What? Whoa, okay. Just, just hit him in the face. Hit him in the face. Shoot him with a... Wow, I don't know what that jumbled mess of noise was. It was supposed to be shoot him in the face, but you know. Wow! 175 rupees, and that's always terrifying when I see that thing flying over. Damn, that was... That's a lot of money. I mean, shit, I'll take it. Alright, now what's really in for me? Hebra Trailhead Lodge. Interesting. No one's here. I'll just steal your stuff. A meteor rod. Eh, I don't care. Examine. Uh, sell me the Duchess of Downhill. First page. Whether you've come to the mountains to shield surf or slopes, hunt treasure, to take a walk, must be remember this mountain will kill you. The accident rates on this mountain is too high. For anything else, you must dress appropriately. Uh, appropriately. Appropriately. <laughs> Despite the dangers, this snowy peak really is extremely beautiful. I want as many people as possible to see it. Uh, next page. I've left a few things behind in the mountain trail and at the base of the flag planted. Spot a flag and head towards it. Hopefully these items will be of use to you. That's cool. Alright. It took a page just to tell me there were more notes. Sell me, baby. I think I'm a better shield surfer. If I prove it, can we get married? This total loser will never win. I don't know what love was until I saw Selmy sliding down the slopes. I can't believe you retired. Where did you go? That's not 
creepy. <coughs> <coughs> Apparently trying to do that hurts my throat. It shouldn't hurt my throat. I saw some kids north of Cold Snap Hollow. He looked like he was pretty great at shield surfing. Sell me thanks for the food that was left here. Pre I guess this is just... Whoever is eating this, please take as much of the food as you need. Okay. Uh, there's a flint. There is no food in here. Anyway, whatever. Oh. There's a, uh... Uh, what you call it? Stable. That's cool. Is there no, uh... Why is this the one zone that, like, deviates from the norm and doesn't have a shrine, like, right next to the, uh, this place, the stable? Why can I not think of that word? Um, okay, well, there's a bunch of places to still explore, really. Oh, boy. But we're here. I We gotta, we gotta do something productive this episode, so we're gonna go into town and, uh... Uh, I guess, yeah, meet the Rito, the more than Cass here. Cass is cool, but we need to meet more Ritos. Expand our, uh, sphere of, uh, acquaintances. Need curry rice. That's a quest. You know what? You know, yeah, no, no, no. We gotta go into town. Let's get that, let's get this started. We can explore later. Hey, my first real Rito. Yeah. Not that Kaz isn't a real Rito. Good day. Do you need something? Who are you? Uh, the Rito? Yes. The Rito of Lake Totori? Where the men are fine archers and the women better singers. You being a Highland, I'm surprised you haven't heard about that before. I have. I'm just playing dumb, I guess. I guess that's what I'm doing. I don't know. Have I? For every other divine beast... When I'm in the zone that they represent, they, like, there's a cutscene showing them off. Wow, Yiga Clan member right here? Well, took care of him. Ten rupees. Not bad. Well, that was unexpected. What was I saying before? Oh, yeah, there's a cutscene to show the off the Divine Beast. I'm really surprised we haven't seen one of those yet. If I don't see one going across here, I'll be a little bit shocked. Uh, or maybe I saw it before and I just... I might have seen it before off-camera. I don't know. Yes, I know there's a shrine nearby. Holy crap. Am I gonna meet any other Rita? Rudo? Rita. There it is. I guess it is usually when it's close to getting into town, so... There you go. There it is. Yes. There it is. So, it, with the Game Grumps thing, I, I didn't watch them do the dungeon. I, sk I actually skipped those episodes because I didn't want to accidentally see something. But they were talking about how this kind of thing makes it feel like the world is small. At least Aaron said so. Whereas Dan was kind of like, I think it makes it feel bigger. But it, the one thing I will agree with Aaron on is it does feel... It does... Like in an open world game... It's one of those things where you just want to go, you want to do it on your own. That's the appeal. But then once, you know, especially for me, it's like once I'm told to go there, I'm, I'm less inclined to go there. Like, I'm more, I'm more open to exploring it when I go up there of my own volition. Having that cutscene just says, yeah, this is where you're supposed to go. And it's kind of like, I, I don't, I, you want to be contrary. It's like, I don't want to go there, stupid game. I want to do, do it on my own. I'm not going to go there yet. But, you know, I don't think it makes the world feel big or small. It's just it's just nice. Nice touch. Rusty Halbert. Okay. Alright. Uh, I also need to be on the lookout for a Rito with Sun as the uh, as the name or whatever. Yeah, ending in Sun. Um how many orbs do I have? I have three. Okay, I can't do that yet. Sai, who are you? Oh. Facing. Oh, so have you seen it? Yeah, I saw it. Everyone in the village is freaking out because of it, but I have a bigger problem. My mom is so annoying. She asks me to help out at the store every single day. I can't take it anymore. I don't. I want. I don't want to just help. I want to open my own store and sell whatever I want. Oh. 
But I don't want to compete with mom. I wish there was a place I could go and help set up my own shop. Uh, Terrytown. Yes. Uh, it's a place we're making. Oh, so there's indeed in need a general store. Yes. Yeah, the Kala region is pretty much on the entire opposite side of the world. Guess I've got to leave the nest someday and have my own store. You were just complaining that your mom was here and making you work and you didn't want to do it for her anymore and now you're complaining you don't want to leave. At least he made up his mind. But with Mado terrorizing the skies, I'm going to have to fly low. Thanks for the tip, and hey, don't be a stranger. I will go visit someday. Probably next episode. We'll see. I don't know. We'll get over there eventually. Same with the weapon connoisseur. We'll get those done. Man, 48 minutes. Shit. I'm gonna have, I don't think I have 20 minutes of stuff to cut. That's okay. It can be a longer episode. Well, from the ground up. Completed. Okay, that's the inn. Uh, why are you doing that, Link? Well, that uh, made that incredibly easy. I didn't have to go, you know, looking around for that guy. Uh, anything worth buying here? Uh, what kind of arrows are these? Bomb arrows. No thanks. I don't use bomb arrows enough. I don't use any special arrows enough, really. Armor. Snow quill headdress. Cold resistance. Cold resistance. And cold resistance. 550, 600... Thousand. I could buy that. It would take nearly all of my money, but I could buy that. Hey. Thanks for opening it. It's open 24 hours. That's nice. Looking to sell. Probably, actually, you know what? Fuck it. I'm not selling anything. Uh, and, uh yeah. I was going to say not selling anything to you, but then that sounds as coming off as racist. Oh, hey, baby Ritos. Or children Ritos, I guess. All right. It is night, so I guess that's a thing. Um, okay, that's the obligatory uh, make food place. Oh, we're going up. I kind of didn't realize we were going a corkscrew. I'm beat. Why are you beat? Oh, 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 she's tired. Okay, she's going to bed. That's what that means. Okay, well, I'm going to have to talk to those people later. Um, boy, it's a long way to the top. Actually, you know what? Okay, let's do this shrine and end the episode. It's getting kind of long, and we can get introductions done next time. Akvaquat Shrine. Akvaquat. It's a nice name. It's probably saying it completely wrong, but you know. Let's see what this one has in store for us. Windmills. Oh, boy. Okay, how is this going to work? Oh. Well, that's interesting. Nice. That's going to turn that and give me this treasure chest. That's cool. Actually, uh, stasis. Is there anything in the water? Magnesis. Nope. Alright, well, this is it. That's cool. Treasure chest! Ancient core. Nice. I could use giant ancient cores, but that works, I suppose. Okay, I don't know what the what the point of this is going to be. Do I have to get all of the fans spinning? Whoops. Yeah, yeah, badly damaged. Don't care. Alright, so that goes that way. Make that one go this way. This one we want to spin. Let's go the other way. Okay, so this one, I've got that one from that row all going. So I want this one to go around 180, 180 degrees. 180. That's how directions work. It's got all that. Actually, this one needs to go... Uh, two, 720. That, that's it. Well, actually, okay, this one needs to go around this way, 
This one needs to go the other way. I'm surprised my sword hasn't broken yet. Um, and then this one needs to move. Whoop, missed it. And one more, and that should do it. Yep, that was it. Nice. That wasn't too difficult. Uh, you know what? Fuck it. It's broken. It's out. I'm done. Um. Yeah, Frostblade. Oh, actually. Let's go in here and sort them. Alright, sorted that. Sorted that. Sorted that. Sorted those. Sorted those. Alright, we're all sorted. I feel better now. All right, now we can get our uh, another heart container. Sweet! Give me my orb. Thank you. Okay, well, that's going to be the end of this episode. It's a longer one, but uh, it might be longer. It might be shorter. I don't know. I haven't edited it yet. There's a lot of stuff I can edit out. So thank you all for watching. If you enjoyed the video, give it a like. If you didn't, give it a dislike. Leave a comment letting me know why you gave it the thumbs up or whatever you did or any other feedback that'd be nice. Whoopsies! <laughs> um, probably didn't see that. Um, I have Twilight Princess up on the screen. You can go watch that. I have a bunch of other series. Go check out all those. Subscribe to the channel if you haven't already. And I hope to see you again in the next video.